Hello everyone, Pinder Productions here. Today I will be reviewing Lonely Mountains Downhill for the Nintendo Switch. Quick disclaimer before we get started, I was provided a copy of this game by the developers through Keymailer, but I also bought the Super Rare Games physical version with my own money. Nobody has sponsored this review and nobody besides myself has reviewed it before it was uploaded. At its most fundamental level, Lonely Mountains Downhill is a game that allows you to explore cycle trails on a selection of mountains. At a first glance the gameplay appears to be relatively zen in its style. The peaceful solitude you get from this game is actually a welcome change from a world dominated by first person shooters, and after all, who doesn't want to go for a nice bike ride down a mountain? However this impression quickly fades when you realise how difficult this can be, especially when you find yourself cycling on the edge of a cliff, attempting jumps or simply travelling into the path of trees, rocks or a lake. The trails in the game are spread out across four mountains with unlockable nighttime mountains and a fifth DLC mountain for anyone who wants a bit more. Each mountain has its own theme varying from luscious green forests to redwoods and deserts. While the trails on each mountain share a similar theme, they manage to feel different enough that they aren't repetitive. The game has four difficulty settings which include Explorer, Beginner, Expert and Freerider in order of easiest to most difficult. Each difficulty comes with different rewards for meeting certain objectives like finishing the course within a certain amount of time or within a limited number of crashes. The first three difficulty levels come with checkpoints that you get to reset to if you do come across a wrong journey. Freerider removes these checkpoints which means you'll have to do the whole trail in one go to complete these objectives. For me the controls felt very natural as someone who plays a lot of racing games, ZR to accelerate, ZL to brake and A to sprint which acts as a sort of nitrous equivalent to give you a temporary speed boost. The game also gives the option of steering from two perspectives, my preference being that of the rider since I feel more in control of which way the front wheel is going down the trail. Some of the rewards you get by completing the trails include customization options for your bike or rider. These customization options vary from bike frames to paint jobs and outfits for your rider, so over time you can change the rider's style to your liking. There is also a daily challenge mode that takes existing courses and adds extra obstacles like rocks and fallen trees, so you have to get a bit more creative with finding a route to the bottom. This mode presents more of a challenge than the normal trails, but I really enjoy how it encourages you to explore more than you might otherwise. As the name suggests, these courses rotate every day. There are also leaderboards for that day's run, as well as leaderboards for the entire season, with rewards to unlock for riding on multiple days or getting high scores. As for the game's performance, it was pretty good most of the time, however there were some frame dips here and there. Now while this is nowhere near being a deal breaker for me, it was a bit of a surprise considering the game's visual aesthetic and its lower texture detail compared to other platforms. Overall I think there is a lot of fun to be had in this game, while there are some frame dips, this does not detract from what is an enjoyable yet challenging time, and the novelty of being able to ride down mountain trails from the comfort of your own home is very welcome for me, especially with the world as it is at the moment. For this reason, I can happily recommend Lonely Mountains Downhill. It should be noted that the game is also available on Game Pass for both console and PC, so if you're on the fence and are already a Game Pass subscriber, it might be worth trying the game there first to see if you like it or not. Anyway, that's it for this video. If you enjoyed, please do leave a like and let me know what you think of the game in the comments. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.